How's it going everyone? This is Mark with At Tech and welcome back to our annual top features of the latest iOS update. We've got iOS 13 right here in front of us today. It has a ton of cool features and a couple of things that I've been wanting for many, many years. I got my top five features right here. So let's go ahead and check it out, starting with dark mode, of course. Apple made big news last year when they announced dark mode on macOS Mojave and now it is finally here on iOS. It's very simple to turn on, just like it is in Mojave, and it actually looks pretty good. You get the same dark keyboard that we've seen in some other apps previously, but we also get darker notifications, and all system apps now pick black over white. So you'll notice in things like the App Store, messages, phone, reminders, calendars, all that sort of stuff is now dark, and it looks pretty cool. Developers are also going to be able to take advantage of this in their own apps. So you should see more native dark mode apps coming soon once iOS 13 comes out. This next feature has to be by far my very favorite. I have been hoping for this ever since they came out with the predictive type keyboard way back in I believe iOS 8 or so. This is now called Quick Path and what it allows you to do is swipe your finger across the keyboard to type. This is something we've seen many, many years on Android. And when Apple added the ability to use third-party keyboards, they were by far the most popular. But now using Quick Path, you can swipe across letters and type out whatever you want. It's very cool, very simple and easy to use. And it's actually pretty quick and accurate. I've been wanting this for so long, so I'm so excited that it's here. Apple makes the best keyboard for iPhone, of course and I'm super excited that I don't have to use any other third-party alternatives to get every feature that I want. Another change that you guys might be interested in is the Reminders app. It has been completely redesigned and is actually a little more intelligent. The layout is much better than the traditional card style that I've been a very big fan of. Now everything is organized more into due dates and then also projects that you make. It's more of a to-do list now rather than just a Reminders app, which is pretty nice. Another cool thing that I wanted to show you is actually how you can set times and people. If you just type out, remind me to take out the trash at six every weekend, you can put that in the title of your reminder. It'll get rid of the time and the repetition part and it will add that as metadata. So all you have to do is just type that out. It will figure out all that sort of stuff for you. You don't have to go into the settings. You don't have to select when it's going to remind you and how often. You just type it out, it'll figure it out for you, which is pretty nice. Using Siri is now a little more compelling with their new neural text to speech system. Neural TTS is going to allow Siri to have a much more natural voice and sound actually a little bit better. Here's the forecast for Seattle, Washington for today. Here's the forecast for Seattle, Washington for today. It's going to also allow Siri to say much more complicated things and sound less robotic while doing so. Overall, it's going to help the general usage of Siri, make it sound better, although she's not really a lot smarter, but at least it sounds better doing so. And finally, my fifth feature that I want you guys to know about is the new Memoji customization that you can do. You can add much more customization to yourself. You can add things like earrings, you can add makeup, and they have a bunch more different hairstyles and clothing options. Even more is that Memoji is now available on other devices than just those with the Face ID element inside of it. If you have an A9 processor or newer, you can use Memoji. They're not going to be animated like they will be on the iPhone 10, XS, and XR, but you can still have your custom Memoji, and you can even now use them as stickers. You can send them messages with different animations or looks or expressions to show how you feel about something rather than having to use a traditional emoji. You can now use pre-made Memoji stickers in messages. There's plenty more features that I can't show you like the improved maps. That's not coming out quite yet, but it's going to give you better directions when looking down on top of the map. There's also improved street view and that sort of stuff. There is share sheet with intelligent suggestions which is pretty cool. And another one I can't show you yet is the smaller app files and faster launch times for apps with a reduced package size. Those are all going to be coming out later once developers optimize their apps for that. If you want to learn more about iOS, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. You can learn more about all the new features. If you have any questions or other features you found interesting, let me know in the comment section. 
If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with that tech and I will see you in the next one.